children of the stars, it has been a long journey to this moment. Our people have fought, suffered, and sacrificed so much. And yet here, in the shade of Amidrasil's young boughs, we may at last begin to heal. Unto the souls who now watch over this sacred place, we offer our blessings. Symbols of dedication, strength, and love. Unto this moonwell, we offer this precious vial, the last water saved from the temple of Donassus. May they bathe Amirdrasil in Elune's radiance and bestow her blessings upon this place, Bel Ameth, the arms of the goddess. In her embrace, may the Kaldorai finally know peace. Elune Adore. Do you ever think back to the time before the Sundering, Alexstrasza? When the world was whole? But we faltered from within. The world itself was rent asunder. Through thousands of years and unspeakable tragedies, the Well of Eternity, the Legion at Nordrasil. Yet this precious tree, a Mirdrasil, has brought us together. And when I look upon the faces of those who have risen to its aid, both old and new, I see something returning that we had lost. Unity. Though there is much work to be done, I know we have the strength to face anything if we face it together. Well, old friend, it felt good to share a cause and fight side by side once more. Hmm. Yes, it did. Like on Mount Hyjal, all those years ago. But thank the light. This world tree did not fall. Jaina, when a Mirdrasil took root on Azeroth, for a moment it was as if... Like there was... A voice? I heard it too. Oh, good. I didn't imagine it. So beautiful. Like a song. It seemed to be calling out to me. Could it be the voice of the world tree? I don't think so. It sounded far more ancient. I'm not sure how I know that. It's just a... feeling. If we both heard it, felt it, maybe others did too. Perhaps. But let's leave that investigation for another day. Tonight, we celebrate our victory. All of us. Together. Together. Champion, I trust you are enjoying this well-deserved moment of celebration. It was heartening to see members of the Alliance and Horde fighting side by side for a shared cause. After the dark days of the Fourth War, I feared it would never happen again. Yet even as we relish the victory over Ferrock and welcome the birth of a new world tree, Members of the Kirin Tor have brought me troubling reports. Something is moving in the shadows. An ancient enemy stirs, incited by some harbinger with whom a Ritokran has dark dealings. How these forces are connected, and what they're after, I cannot say. 
but I've spoken with an old friend who's going to investigate. If what I suspect is truly coming to pass, Azeroth will soon need you to defend her once again. Enough of my rumination. Please, return to the gathering. And let Kalagos know he doesn't need to worry about me. Jaina. Kalik! I'm sorry I haven't reached out sooner. Not to worry. You've been more than a little busy. Reuniting your family and serving Kol Tiras as Lord Admiral. What about you? You have your aspectral powers again. And you brought the blues home, Kalik. I know how much that meant to you. I think we both needed to make a journey. Just not together. And... That's all right. <laughs> it is. Do you have some time? I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. But I must warn you, they'll probably insist that you try their soup. And they like to use eel guts. I'm called Tyrin, remember? I grew up on eel liver soup. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> With the aid of those gathered here, a Myrdrasil blossoms all around us. Do you remember when you first held its seed in your arms, Tyrande? Of course. I cradled it as I would a child, and promised the souls within to honor their sacrifice. And I swore to you. I would do everything in my power to protect it. We have both kept our vows. It is time I return to Ardenweald. To restore the balance and repay a debt to an old friend. Mother, I thought you came back to ensure that I would my precious child. You are strong, compassionate, and wise. And you have become the leader I knew you would. You did not need me to guide you. Mother, I will always need you. I shall not be far. I am so, so proud of you, my heart. Remember, all time is borrowed, and in this, there is beauty. All is well. resemblance to the one I left, Koronos. Empires have risen and fallen. The old gods are no more. The Dragon Isles have slumbered and awakened. Old friends have died, some of them ignobly, and the ones who remain do not seem to have need of me. Even the Aspects regained their powers without my aid, or the Titan's intervention. Our circumstances are similar, Keeper Tear. We were made to serve. I too have fulfilled my purpose, but this new world is vast and wondrous. Perhaps 
it will be enough for us to just observe and help safeguard it. Hmm. I have much to ponder.